Well, hello there on this Saturday. It's uh, September 29th, 2018. It's now 4.18 p.m. up here in Northeastern Ohio. And uh, I just saw Emily Suzanne. She had put up a video and captured a couple sunspots with her P900. So I wanted to run out here real quick and take a look and see if I can catch them. Okay, at the moment I have the Orion solar filter on, which I don't really like using, but yep, there they are too. I will try it with the uh, other filters in a second. Okay, I forgot it won't let me... change settings this way. I'll be right back. Alright, let's try this again. Yeah, they are quite faint, but there's a pair of them down there. I'm going to change filters. I'll be right back. Alrighty, here they come. It's so hard when you're zoomed in so far to adjust the tripod head, the video head, I mean. And we can see how uh, how wavy everything looks when you have the zoom extended out so far and you're cutting through a whole bunch of atmosphere. But the sun is up there uh, in the west-southwest sky. Not super high up, but so we'll let it come down for a bit and try to catch more of it. And I did put the uh, stacked ND filters on there, the B and W 16 stops of uh, light and the UV haze filter and all that. I know it's better to use a solar filter film, but. I can generally see better with the ND filters. Just my own preference. All right, that's cool. Take a look at the rest. Um, with this type of equipment, I can't see any other activity taking place. And we're at the max zoom, and we are on uh, and we are on 4K. I was playing around with it last night, and I forgot to turn it back to 1080p. Alrighty, that should do for a good documentation. Thank you, Emily. Glad I saw your video. And as we change the shutter speed and the aperture, we can see how the glare gets uh, tamped down and we can see those sun rays. <laughs> it's such a cool look. And just so we know that uh, Venus and Jupiter and Saturn are up here in the daytime sky somewhere, but of course the bright LED bulb up there is uh, <laughs> washing everything out. So even if I change the shutter and aperture to uh, make it darker, we're still not going to be able to see those uh, planets in the sky. That's just for reference. That's another reason besides what I think are uh, reflections and flares and whatnot from, the, uh, from all the glass inside these cameras. They each produce a different effect, but and depending on the angle and the tilt and the pan and all that good stuff of what you what you see up there. But another important thing that I keep in the back of my mind is that during the day with the sun 
glaring as it is, we can't even see the known planets in our daytime sky. And uh, so I find it quite unlikely that we'd see uh, another planetary system, not during the daytime. I mean, we even have a hard time seeing the daytime moon unless it's on the opposite side of the sun. And out in that direction would be Saturn somewhere in the southeast. I think Mars is the only one of my regulars that's not up above the horizon yet. And the sun, uh, not the sun, the, the moon already set, so. So yeah, please don't get me wrong. I've believed for decades, I mean, way long before the internet ever came along, that there's uh, more than the known planets in our solar system. It's just a, a belief that I've had. Maybe a gut instinct, I don't know, but it's something I tend to trust. And that we're possibly in a binary star system. And I've been on the hunt for them. But so far, no luck. But that's just where I stand at the moment. And uh, I could always revise my thoughts and theories and everything else. Most everything is a damn theory anymore. <laughs> so, anyway, on that note, I'm going to wish you all a great uh, weekend. What is today? Saturday. All right. So here we are at 4.38 p.m. Y'all take care now. Bye.